So we're taking a day trip to Bilbao today and also gonna visit Dragonstone. It's not really called Dragonstone, but it's the place where Dragonstone was filmed on Game of Thrones. So I'm gonna be Khaleesi for the day and Dustin's gonna be Jon Snow and he's gonna call me McQueen. How about McQueen? Danny, don't call me that. How about McQueen? Welcome to Dragonstone. Dragonstone is the birthplace of the infamous Daenerys Targaryen. She was born in a castle that used to be at the top of this mountain during an unknown time period, believed to be sometime during the Middle Ages, about 300 years after the first extinction of the dragons and during the peak of the White Walker reconquest. The Targaryens ruled these lands for thousands of years, but after a vicious revolt led by the Lannisters, Starks, and Baratheons, most of Daenerys' family was killed. Only two Targaryens are believed to have escaped, Daenerys and her older brother. Daenerys and her brother escaped across the narrow sea here behind me. After the uprising, Dragonstone was bequeathed to Stannis Baratheon, the younger brother of the new king, Robert Baratheon. Here Stannis brought in a new religion called the Lord of the Light, and they worshipped a red woman who was believed to be a priest of that religion. Now the red woman was believed to be a sexy seductress, but she was actually a 200 year old woman. As a priestess for the Lord of the Light, she believed in burning victims alive to honor the gods. Stannis believed so passionately in the Lord of the Light's power that she, he cheated on his wife with the red woman who gave birth to a devil baby that ended up killing Stannis' younger brother. Stannis later burned his own daughter at the stake in order to sacrifice her to the gods in hopes to gain power to one day become king. Although the Red Woman did tell Stannis that his prophecy was to become king of all of Westeros, he was instead killed by a large woman. After Stannis died, the Red Woman then tried to sleep with a young handsome warrior named Jon Snow, but he was very noble and he did not do it. Daenerys, meanwhile, believed she was entitled to retake the Iron Throne of Westeros. The death of her husband, Khal Drogo, was one of the most important time periods in Khaleesi's life. She is believed to have burned the body and stepped into the fire that was burning her husband with three dragon eggs. And she came out unscathed and the three dragon eggs were born, giving rise to the dragons again. And that's how she got the name Daenerys the Unburnt when she was not burned, and also Daenerys the Mother of Dragons because she was now mother to three dragons. She later stole an army of unsullied men, that's men without. She then conquered the three cities of Slaver's Bay and freed all the slaves, hence getting the nickname Breaker of Chains. After years of bloodshed, she then sailed back into Westeros and landed here at Dragonstone, a symbolic place for her return. The hike up to Dragonstone is very treacherous and very exhausting. Thousands of Westerosi people a day come to visit here to pay their respects to Daenerys. Daenerys had many lovers. The first was her husband, Khal Drogo, who was a grand warrior and had one of those bodies you only see on TV. The second was Jorah the Andal, who was believed to be two to three times older than Daenerys. Then there was the head of the second sons, who beheaded two of his most loyal warriors in order to try to sleep with Daenerys. He ended up not sleeping with her, but the guy who replaced him did. Then, of course, there was the beloved Jon Snow, and it's believed here on this spot is the place where he first called her Danny and all your hearts melted. Danny. And it was here on this spot that Jon Snow had sex with Daenerys at the same time he found out that he was her nephew. Now, 
Obviously, there's no castle left here, it's just a monastery now. It's believed the castle was either destroyed by the White Walkers during their reconquest or by the Lannisters. People ring the bell three times in honor of Khaleesi and her three dragons. So how will the story end? Well, we don't really know yet. They're still translating the final books, but we should know by the end of summer 2019.